you saw it. It took a little time for the human to get there, but she got there. The adventures. A lot of times people just go to the same side of the street. Thank you both. I appreciate you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you both. Okay. Now, that was a key moment, right? Because what, what happened earlier is she let him focus one second too long. One second. It's all about timing, just like business. It's all about timing, right? So the dog comes in this direction. As soon as he does this, you have to tell him, no, that's not what I want. And that's when she did it. So when she moved the leash just to the side, it's the same as the equivalent of when the cat did that, is to snap out of it. Just snap out of it, don't focus on it, look at it, but don't focus on it. Focus on following me. So then, as soon as the dog saw it, she did the little touch, the dog's not part of it, and keep moving forward. That's why that time it worked. When she did it earlier, she did it a second too late. The dog was already looking at it. And then she pulled, and the dog pulled even more. Are you with me? So it's not the pull or the food. You can give food at the wrong time. You will be nurturing the wrong side effect. So to me, it's very important that we see ourselves as a source of food. Emotionally, intellectually, mind, the body, that's food to me. Obviously the treats are great, but we first have to begin by understanding how can we convince or gain the trust and respect of animal. I'm not even dumb thinking dog, animal, period. The energy. So let me give you some tips, if you don't mind. Walk in the dog, stay aware of your energy, right? We saw it. It took a little time for the human to get there, but she got there. The adventure is a lot of times people just go to the same side of the street, just go to another another area. The reason why the last half, so the, well, the Chih Tzu, I don't remember what that, but you know, the one with the pink color? You remember that Chih Tzu? The reason why he didn't misbehave is because he was in a different environment. So that gives you access to teach a new habit or a new behavior because he's in an unknown place, perfect time to help. This is why often I, I remove a dog from the family and bring him to the ranch. Different environment, he's never been there, we give him a new, a new chance. And then learn how to deal with uncertainty. The easiest thing to deal with uncertainty is first to get in touch to how you feel in that time. How do I feel right now? And stare there. Ah. Getting frustrated is the easiest thing, getting angry is the easiest thing, but really taking responsibility of your feeling to change anything around is the most important part. How to deal with uncertainty, how you feel inside. Don't worry about the dog, don't worry about other people not doing what they're supposed to do. Focus on yourself, which as a, as a father, that's why I repeat every single day, right? Don't worry about your friends. How are you dealing with that moment? that it's more important so you can change and choose your path. Otherwise, he's gonna blame his friends all the time. So this is, as a father, something that I incorporate, you know, in, in the life of my kids. And take 100% responsibility of yourself. We're gonna bring a dog that is